So I'm going to show you guys one thing. Come on up. <clears throat> Remember a minute ago I just said, try not to peel the hand off. A lot of times, be really, really strong. Don't let me peel the hand off. A lot of times our attacker, we sit here and we struggle. So we do the technique and then we do this. Ugh. And now we struggle to try to peel the hand off. Don't worry about it, just move. Just move. If that hand stays stuck, good. You know where it is. You don't have to worry about it hitting you, okay? So Manta's hand is against a straight right punch. Coming in, parry step off line, throwing that key block. But this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift. And as we do, we're going to mantis the arm. So we're mantising the arm. Our left elbow comes up just as if we're brushing back our hair. We're gonna grab the head, shift back into our kind of like front lunge and throw an elbow to the head. This is a super fun technique. Um, I like this one. I also like kimono grab a lot. So here we go. Step, boom, elbow. It's very, very powerful. Step, mantis, elbow. Step, mantis, elbow. And now a sensei. So notice how when I mantis, I turn my body facing the mirrors and then I kind of turn back. So it gives him kind of a little bit of a whiplash. This is what I mean by the elbow up. Don't get caught up with, when you're here, doing this to try to come around. He's too strong for that. Elbow up, grab the head, elbow. From this way, hi. Next block, down, through, boom, and breaking. So Sensei's going to come in, he's gonna throw that side. Next block, controlling that wrist the whole time. Now if I step through hard, and I elbowed, I would break his shoulder right now. So only in the dojo, we do this. We're just nicer and we lift the arm up. Don't get into the habit of practicing that for real life though. Um, we're not dancing with our partners, we're breaking their shoulders, different. All right, so lever B is against the push. Now, I'm going to use the same arm that I stepped back with. I'm going to trap again, but this time I'm going to go back. Because he wants me to go back, he's pushing me, I'm going to let him. I'm going to go back, turn, now his hand is here, and all I'm going to do is step through. When I step through, that knee, because he should be on the ground, is going to break his elbow. So from here, ah, oh, that's lever A. Boom! From here, and from here. I went off camera on that one. Let's do that one again. From here. Okay? So if Sensei grabs me here, he's going to give me a little bit of a push. I'm going to let him step, and then I just kind of walk forward. Same thing here. He's going to give me a little bit of a push. I'm going to step back, turn, and then just walk forward. So don't get caught up in, go ahead and just lay down. Don't get caught up in these. Ah! I see a lot of people in the dojo throwing these crazy like high Muay Thai knees. There's no reason for that. You're not hitting anything. So if you practice like this, I don't know what you just hit. And, and during a test, I'm gonna say, can you do that again? Can you do that again? Can you do that again? <laughs> over and over and over until you understand that all you need is just a simple walk. So here's what we're gonna do. Trap, raise the hand, step across, turn, and sink. And you want to keep it back just like elbow drop. Elbow up as we shuffle, claw down. So from here, trap, raise, turn, sink, Elbow up, claw down. Notice I'm always advancing, shuffling forward. From here. And now with Sensei, grabbing from behind. Trap, raise, turn. Now watch, when I come here, I have him trapped, meaning I'm gonna get him into a Nikyo lock. You've gotta be really careful if you're practicing. We let go here, boom. Elbow up, claw down. 
In real life, you don't let go. If he grabs me from here, trap, raise, step, turn, and if he grabs me from this side, trap, raise and step, turn, fight. A really great way to practice is making sure that you guys are practicing as fast as you can. So get the form right by practicing slow and then explode. 